In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this really simple but really effective color sliding transition right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you have two videos on the timeline, as you can see, I've got one clip here and another clip here. It's really important that these clips are sitting next to each other. So if there's any gaps, then you want to close those gaps and make sure they run one into another. Now from here, we're going to go and create a new black video. So we'll go new item using the new item button down here and black video. We'll press OK on this and we'll drag the black video on to video layer two. Now from here, we want to color this from black into a color of your choice. If you want your block to be black, then that's completely fine. Then just move on, leave the step. But if you want to color it, we'll go to effects and we'll search for tint. So T I N T we will drop tint onto black video. We'll go into matte black Two. select the black box and we'll select a color of your choice. So this can be absolutely anything. There's no limitations here. But as soon as you've done that, you can just move on to the next step. Now, I'm just going to move towards the end of the first video clip and I'm just going to move back in time by six frames. So selecting the left button, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll go up to motion, go to position and we'll pull the position to the left. And you want to make sure that this block is completely off screen. So we'll pull this to there. That's around negative 1000. And we'll create a brand new keyframe by selecting the toggle animation button. Now we'll move to the end of that clip and we'll move six frames to the right. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. Go back onto your black video and you want to pull the position the opposite direction. So we're bringing it back onto screen and then taking it off in the other direction. So in this case, we are plus 2800. Now, when we play this back, you can see we've got this really simple block transition. Now, if you want to speed this transition up, then you just want to go to that center point. So the point where the first clip ends and the second clip begins. As you can see, that is around here. So if you wanted to speed it up, then we'll just go one, two, three, pull this first keyframe to the blue. We'll move to the right three frames again, one, two, three, and then another three, one, two, three and we'll pull this keyframe to the cursor again. And now that is a quicker transition. Of course though, if you wanted to slow this down, opposite thing, so we'll go to that center point again. Now we'll go 10 frames to the left. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10. And we'll pull that over to the left. Now we'll go back to the end and we'll go 10 keyframes to the right. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Pull that to the right. And if we play this back, you can see we have a much slower transition. Perfect. And there you go. That is the sliding color block transition right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video. See you there.